Good morning. So we're going to be solving some kinematics problems just to make sure that um, you have just a little bit more comfortability with them. Um, today's problem is a space shuttle problem. Um, so for this time, you will actually be a rocket scientist. Six seconds after launch, a space shuttle is 529.2 meters above the ground. Question A, what is its acceleration? Question B, what's its velocity after six seconds? We're going to start by marking up our problem. So our first step is we're going to look at this 529.2 meters. I'd like you to pause the computer, the video, and to guess which variable that is. Is that going to be our D, our A, our T, our V final, or our V initial? It is our D. Then we have another number here in the problem. This six seconds. Take some time. Think about it. And what is that six seconds? Pause if you need to. It's going to be our T. Now, the thing we need to think about is do we know anything else about the space shuttle? Well, space shuttle usually starts at the ground and then it takes off and goes up. Now, that means that it starts at rest and then it takes off. So we actually have an additional number. We know that V initial is zero meters per second. All right, so let's get to solving part A. Now we know that we have our T. We know that we have our D. I almost made a mistake. That was going to cost me some issues. I wrote 5.29 instead of 529.2. We know our V initial. And we want to find our A. I would encourage you to write your variables out like this after you've marked up your equation. Um, it just makes things easier. So now we're going to take a look at our equations list and see which one of these works. Well, it can't be the first one because we need to find A. We have T. We have the initial, but we don't know V final. And we can't have two, two variables in the same equation. It's not this one because this one doesn't have any acceleration in it at all. Um, we have our V initial, we have our T, we, ooh, this one might be a winner. Let's check our last one just to make sure. And it's definitely not this one because this one has V final. We don't know what V final is. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that equation down so that we have it nicely. D is equal to V initial T plus one half A T squared. Okay, so first of all, let's look at our equation real quick, and let's see what we have here. Um, we have one of these scenarios where we're looking for this A, and we need to get this A by itself. Okay, and so that means we'll probably have to get rid of this, we'll have to get rid of the half, we'll, get, we'll have to get rid of the T squared. Um, but there's one important thing before we get started, and that is this initial velocity was zero because it was at rest. Now, we've talked about this before, but anytime something is at zero or at rest, it means that this section here will completely disappear, making our math problem a lot easier. So we now have D is equal to one half A T squared. And again, we need to get A by itself. The first thing that's stopping that A from being by itself is this one half. We're going to do the opposite. So if we're multiplying by one half, that's the same as multiplying by two. Or we could look at this as being dividing by two, so we're going to multiply by two. So we're going to multiply both sides 
and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this step in a different color so you can follow it along. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2. So now we have, because these two are going to cancel, 2D is equal to A T squared. Now some of you are very intelligent and you're very math strong. You had a lot of fun in your um, algebra class, um, at least with understanding the material. And so for you, you could have actually seen that this next step, we could have actually done it at the same time as the previous step. So um, we have A and T squared being multiplied by each other. So we're going to divide both sides by T squared. And that's going to give us 2D over T squared is equal to A because these two are going to cancel. Well, now we're ready to rock. We can actually plug some stuff in. We know our equation is 2D over T squared um, is equal to A, and we're looking for acceleration. We want to double check to make sure that that's what we're looking for so that we don't make any mistakes. So here um, we have 2 times our displacement, which was this number here. over T squared is equal to A. Now, PEMDAS says we want to handle that exponent first. So that means this is 2 times 529.2. When we put this in our calculator, we're going to get, oh, you guys can't even see that. Is that a little better? We have 2 times 529 point, let me see that so you guys can see it, 529.2 divided by 36. I'm not putting in any of the units. And that gives me 29.4 meters per second squared. We're going to go back to our initial problem and think about our significant figures. So here we had two, this is four. This one had infinite um, significant figures. Um, so we should have two sig figs in our final answer. So that's going to be 2.9 times 10 to the first meters per second squared. That's our final answer to the initial problem. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video now um, and then um, add an additional optional video after this.